Yes, good morning. Uh, good morning, viewers from Uganda. Uh, welcome back to our YouTube channel, Malafik. Well, today my my colleague, this is what he's doing. As you can see here, we are trying to reduce on the size of the market waste. So since we don't have a shredder, we use a spade to do this. You can see, that is market waste. So we shred it using our <laughs> manual method of using a, a spade. Then we shall cover the food continue to ferment yeah so here again uh, we get the waste out of the drums then uh, uh, we reduce on the water which is in the market waste after that then we bring it and feed it to uh, our larvae here so let me talk about to what causes uh, larvae uh, to die. Uh, the major cause is the kind of food that you give to your larvae. Uh, here we use mainly market waste, but he, I experienced uh, a problem of larvae dying. So and that was due to uh, the kind of food I was feeding, feeding and how you give it to your larvae. That is the issue. So in other words, if you're using a market waste like me, that market waste, when you get it out from your drum, you don't need to keep it uh, open in space uh, for a quite a number of days. It will get spoiled, okay? Uh, it will develop molds and get spoiled. So when you feed it to your larvae, your larvae will die. Okay? Because that food is get sticky. And the larvae remember they like to they they like to move in food freely, in their food freely. So as you can see here. Those larvae are enjoying. If you find to take on to your larvae and they are just uh, dormant in their bin, then there is a big problem. As you can see here, when I try to, you know, check into my bin like this, you can see how they are moving freely. This is this is this is shows that they are healthy. But when you happen to find you check into your bin and you find that the larvae are just dormant. Just know there is a problem. And, and you need to do something. So the feeding should be considered. How do you feed your larvae to avoid uh, the death? If you're using market waste, you have to feed the larvae like how I'm trying to do here. So this is what I do uh, to avoid my larvae to die because of it. So I make sure that when I get my food from the drums, okay, I reduce on the water content. I put it into uh, the feeds, but I don't put a lot of food because when you put a lot of that market waste, uh, the larvae will get stuck into food. Okay, it becomes so sticky in that they can't move freely and eventually they'll just be there dormant and eventually die. So that was the major cause of uh, the death into my bin, uh, into uh, my feeding beans for the larvae. And another thing that you need to do is. Uh, Right, regularly, don't keep on adding more more food. So you have to reduce on the on their poop, like now you see here. So you have to reduce, and for us we improvise anything that is available. We use it, as you can see, we have here our wire mesh, and so we usually do like this, as you can see.
then the larvae will just fall over there then these um the uh, the bigger remains we shall just get them off and reduce on the you know on their waste so that is what you need to do If you're new to this channel consider to subscribe please support us to by subscribing we are just growing please consider to subscribe if you're new to this channel let's grow together let's learn together let's see that's all this is our food Preparation, the preparation for our food for the loving. Yeah. This is what we usually do, as you can see. Now the loving can be just from that food. Properly. Though we tend to lose a lot of uh, still food now. For example, uh, we uh, this we are unable to. I uh, should read this. This is an avocado seed, and I hope this is rich in carbohydrates, which is very important for our lab. So, if you don't have a machine, then you can't grind this with a spade. So, we tend also to lose a lot of carbohydrates in our food, which is very important for the lab to grow. So, you can see here we have some jackfruits there. We have some food waste there, so we add and try to shred it with uh, our speed. It's not easy. Yeah, let me show you something. Actually, we also use our juice. <laughs> we have some juice there. Can you see? It? It's very good. Very, very good. So we store it in our jelly cans here, then we cover it. We ferment it. Yeah, then we again use it to uh to mix it in our maize bran to feed the baby larvae okay so nothing goes to waste when it comes to this yeah we're also making a we're making a nursery bed here for some tomato for tomatoes and we are soon going to be uh practicing habani farming yeah this is our tomato, our nursery, as you can see. We have a bed there. Yeah, we are soon going to be practicing urban farming here. As you can see, uh, that is our beans there. Uh, plus kuma wheat. Yeah, we are also going to put another nursery for kuma wheat. Yeah, yeah we hope. Shall be able to feed uh, uh, people around our community by providing them with uh, organic foods, uh, tomatoes, green peppers. Yeah, that's what we hope we are going to be doing. That's our plan. Yes. So let me show you what we are up to. <laughs> so now these are uh, like we first uh, we planted uh, tomatoes uh, last time. Then we got to know how tomatoes are performing with our flowers. Then this time we want to try to uh, plant more tomatoes as we can see we are doing the preparation 
you want to plant more tomatoes. Uh, then also we have introduced uh, the green pepper, as you can see. So we were, we were trying to see uh, also our flash, the performance of our flash on the green pepper. Green pepper, as you can see here, they in the sack there. So we want to see. For tomatoes, we have seen, and this time we want to uh, increase on the number of tomatoes we planted last time so that we can feed uh, uh, the people in the community. And also people can see, uh, can see really, can appreciate the benefit of the black soja fly farming, the byproducts. So uh, please endeavor to subscribe to this channel if you're new to. If you're new to this channel, like. If you really enjoy this video, give it a like. It's very important for us. Please help us to grow. We are growing at Malafik. Help us to grow. Okay. Best wishes for now. Bye-bye.